DHW modulation. As we mentioned earlier, when this boiler goes in onto a heating, uh, um, heating call, the boiler modulates gradually up to, until it hits set point and then modulates back down. When you have a DHW call, domestic hot water, the boiler tries to heat the domestic hot water as fast as possible. For that reason, it starts modulating to high fire immediately. If I choose to have it modulate in a stepped modulation similar to the heating system, then I hit the enter button, it says normal modulation, which is wide open, and I can hit the low modulation, which is a step modulation similar to the heating system, or I can go back and have normal modulation, which is wide open from the start until it hits set point. Once again, I hit the enter button and I index to the next function. The extra boiler mode, number 30, off. This function allows the elite boiler, if it cannot keep up or a series of them cannot keep up, it allows the boiler to send out a 120 volt signal at a predetermined percentage of output to fire up an older existing boiler to help on the few days a year when um, the, there's a high demand. Also, uh, if for some reason the boiler is down, it would allow the other boiler to take over as a substitute. Normally that's on off. I'm going to say it's on on, so I'm going to change that to on. Okay, And by changing it to on, it's going to ask me for a percentage. Right now it's 53%. I'm going to say that when my bunchkin boiler reaches 100% of its output, and once again this is determined by the installer, when it reaches 100% of input output, it's going to fire up that other boiler if necessary. System sensor model uh, mode number 31 it's asking, do I want to put a cascade sensor on my main heating loop? That cascade sensor is looking for a set point. If this boiler cannot reach that set point, it then fires up that auxiliary boiler. If I have that off, then it's, it's not functional, the auxiliary boiler. 